What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working underneath the vehicle. Um, I One of my last videos that I did was the sway bar. And uh, while I was in there, I noticed that one of my bushings and my lower control arms, it was, uh, it, they were torn. So since I'm going to the track, I'm going to be replacing that and fixing that because I'm not going to hit the track and, you know, risk something happening. So... Um, we're gonna fix that um, that issue. Um, another thing that I noticed underneath the car, there was a lot of like surface, uh, mild surface rust. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a wire brush, and I'm gonna you know strip everything down the best I can, and uh, respray it with some black uh, paint to prevent that from happening. And also cleaning up the underneath the car so it looks more presentable. Um, you know I like keeping this car very clean so. Uh, underneath the car, um, like suspension and stuff, I really haven't like touched that up too much. Um, so I'm, today I'm gonna, uh, you know, dive deeper into the suspension system. Um, so another thing I'm gonna do is uh, install a brand new part, which is a lower control arm, a rear lower control arm. Uh, they are made out of aluminum, so it's gonna be a lot lighter, a lot stronger. Um, and uh, of course it's gonna have brand new bushings so we're gonna be fixing that issue that I'm uh, looking to fix alright guys so I'm very excited to uh, fix this this is gonna be a very uh, subtle change as far as the underneath the vehicle um, it's it looks the part looks really nice it's not too flashy because I'm of course I'm not looking to be flashy I'm looking more of a, a clean aesthetic look so we're gonna get started on this installation and I'll show you the part that I'm using today. All right guys, check this out. So I purchased the K-Tune um, lower control arm. This is a aftermarket part, um, very inexpensive. It's about 150, somewhere around there. A lot cheaper than the competitions like uh, Skunk 2. Um, I'm not sponsored by them by any means. I know I did a video comparing it to their clutch master cylinder, but that's a completely different subject. Um, as far as uh, you know, clutch systems like that, I wouldn't recommend that part at all. Obviously, it failed. But this part just came into the market. Um, I you know, and I had my eyes on it because uh, you know, it looks you know aesthetically aesthetically pleasing for the most part. It looks really, really good and uh, very high quality. I'm looking at the bushings right here. Um, they are rubber bushings, so it's nothing special there. But it is special to me because I am replacing my worn out bushings, so it's uh, it's good on that. It comes with hardware already. So the stock bolts that I'm gonna show you, they're actually a 10 point um, bolt, and you have to get a special socket for that. And I bought that socket and it cost me $20 alone so it's really cool that they give you new hardware that way you can replace those bolts and you don't have to reuse those horrible um, bolts. Another thing that I did, I purchased brand new OEM bolts for the other end, for this end right here. So I purchased that, I'm going to show you the part number right here. So you need two of those, I think that was like almost 20 bucks pretty expensive but it's okay uh, I try to replace every bolt that I touch in the car that way if I go back and touch them again um, you know they don't strip or anything like that so I try to replace all the bolts as I go like I said guys K-Tune is not a horrible brand um, they do have really good products but um, there are certain things from them that I will not buy such as a clutch system so I'm gonna try this part right here um, I'm gonna see what it's all about. I'm gonna show you the installation, and of course, I'm doing a lot more than just installing this, like we're finishing the underneath of the car. So that's gonna be really cool to see. Um, anyways, guys, this is very light, as you can see. Really good quality, it seems like. So let's get this installed. We are now underneath the vehicle. As you can see, guys, there is a little bit of, you know, wear and tear, normal, uh, for the age of the car this car it is 13 years old I'm just gonna respray this whole area right here uh, behind the sway bar and everything just make it nice and clean and presentable so we're gonna start by removing the wheels make sure we don't do any overspray behind them
Now we are in the driver's side. Let's remove this one too. Before starting this project guys, you need this socket. This socket is very special. Um, it costs about $20. I'm going to put the, the link in the description, that way you can uh, get it. So this is what we are working with. I removed the wheel so we have more room. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the lower control arms next so we can uh, prep the entire area for paint. So check this out. I placed the jack right underneath the hub. The way there is no tension or like when I disconnect the lower control arm over there um, the arm is not gonna swing this way like this hub is not gonna come out so that's hopefully gonna keep it in place and it's gonna be nice and level so when I remove that lower control arm that you see in the background um, I'm not gonna have any issues lining up the new ones so we're gonna take our breaker bar take the new socket that you just bought for $20 and place it here and have at it there you go that was easy enough that's one so I'm just gonna break them loose and use and use the impact gun to remove them uh, fully very nice it's coming out good this is what happens when you have the the proper the proper uh, tools to do the job so so they're loose now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, get this jack a little up higher there you go so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fully remove these with the air gun that's one we're not going to use these bolts anymore, remember, the kit comes with brand new bolts. There you go, that's the third bolt. And you can see the, the lower control arm, it's free now. So next we're going to move this main bolt right here, and the stock lower control arm should be uh, free. So this bolt right here, it is a... 17 millimeter so you're gonna need one of those deep socket grab your breaker bar get that thing loose just like that now we're gonna hook it up to the air gun and remove it and save some time just like that get the pull out and we can take the lower control arm out And here we have the parts side by side. So this is the issue that I had right here. Let's see if you can see it. But the bushings were torn up. I don't know if you can see it right there. So it's torn up all the way around here. And uh, once I noticed that, man, I was I was very worried because I'm, I was gonna hit the track like that. So right now I'm uh, checking the car, make sure all the bushings are okay before I uh, you know I hit the track and hit those corners you know at high speed and everything so this is the difference between both like I said this is very 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 light this one's a lot heavier new bushings so I'm very excited for that so let's put this on the car but before that we're gonna go ahead and wire brush that section make it nice and flush again you know you see it's a lot a lot of surface rust so we're gonna go ahead and prep that area as well as that area completely there and uh, get it ready for some paint so we are taking a wire brush with a uh, drill and just uh, go ahead and, and wire, wire brush this section and then follow it up with some paint Hey guys, so this section is looking really good. I got rid of all the surface rust right here. Um, so next, I'm gonna go ahead and and remove the. I'm actually gonna remove this again. Um, 
something I forgot to do before was re-grease these bushings so I'm gonna do that and also paint behind there the entire area so I'm gonna make this nice and peach black and look uh, give it like a background so all the parts kind of shine on top of the black uh, background we just dropping it that's all we're doing so now I can get this section ready for some paint all right guys so as you can see I'm I'm still wire brushing this area it's turning out to be really good so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue get this as best as I can I prepped the areas that I didn't want overspraying on so everything that you see covered up suspension brakes things like that you know um, also covered up my exhaust and part of my bumper because I am going to be coating this section right here so pretty much everything's ready um, I haven't really uh, started in that side because I'm doing this side first I have the jack here first so I'm gonna do this side first actually paint first and then install the uh, lower control arm and then moving and then I'm moving on to that side but yeah it's looking pretty good very excited to get this uh, nice and clean so uh, let's get to spraying. This is the paint that I'm using. Nothing special. You can get this at your local store. As you can see guys, it looks really good just after a few coats. I'm gonna continue spraying it and uh, I'll show you the finished product. It looks so much better. Coated the entire area. Came out really good. I'll show the I'll show you the other side that I haven't touched um, for comparison. This is the passenger side, which I haven't done yet. Um, so you can see the difference right there. So much better. As we're waiting for our paint to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and grease my bushings that I completely forgot the first time. So we're performing operation on the car right now with my doctor gloves. So all you have to do is just get that in there. This is a synthetic grease. It's only used for like uh, poly style bushings. That way your bushings don't squeak because these uh, bushings are a lot harder than regular rubber. I'm gonna finish up greasing this up and then uh, we can move on to installing the lower control arm. So this is the new hardware I was talking about. You guys saw it in the previous clip when I was showing you the unboxing. So it comes with bolts, it comes with washers, and that's how you're gonna do it. This is the previous setup, the 10 point uh, bolts, pretty useless. So we're going away with the, uh, with the old setup. That's the new setup. Over here we got a new bolt, like I showed you guys earlier as well. And this is the old one. Take your new lower control arm. Should fit like a glove, just like this. Take your new Honda bolt, line it up. Pretty awesome. So that's in place. You can just get it started with your hand first. Line up all the bolts, make sure everything's not cross threaded. All right guys, so now we have all the bolts lined up and we're gonna send it out. Check it out. Completely done. Bolts are in, lower control arm is in. Wow, looks so much better. So now you're gonna repeat the same steps I did here onto the next side. And uh, so I'm gonna show you the finished product. I'm not gonna show you that side because it's the same thing as this. So I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. We are all done. Wow, I must say it looks so much better now. I like the color scheme right now. It's nice and uh, clean. 
So you can see we did the same thing on this side. Like I said, guys, it turned out to be super cool to uh, get this done. My bushings were all torn up, so it was definitely worth it. Super happy with the quality. Um, quick tip on installing this lower control arms. So when you're installing them back, make sure you do these bolts first and then swing the, the arm up and then put this bolt last. That way you can line these up uh, much faster and safer. That way you don't have to cross thread them. Uh, this bolt right here is designed to, to do it that way. So do these first and then this one last. Super clean. I love it. There you have it. That's That was the installation for the K2 lower control arms. As you can see, it came out really well. Um, I love the color. I, lo I love the um, graphite um, finish on it. It's, it's really good and also the fitment was really good. Uh, make sure you lined up those three bolts first before you do the final bolt. Um, that was a mistake that I did on the driver's side, but I was able to do it uh, much faster on the passenger side. Um, so as you can see guys, um, little by little, you know, as, as you go in your build, you're going to notice a few things that uh, along the way that you need to do. So I, I wanted to tackle it before I went to the track, which is coming up on October 4th. Um, it's coming up really fast. Um, every week I, I try to do a project that way I can get ahead of the game. Um, but as you can see guys, it was quite easy. Um, my hands are really filthy right now, but it was totally worth it. But uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. I'll leave the uh, every part that I use today on the description below. And uh, make sure you subscribe for more content like this. So until the next video, peace.